and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first uh, expedition of the day, which is going to be our last expedition of the week. I guess I'm going to be doing expeditions on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays. These are expedition days because you only get rewards for playing three expeditions each week. After you get your three expeditions uh, for the week done, you actually can play infinite more expeditions and they're free to play and you still get all the XP, but you don't get any card rewards for playing them. But you can keep on drafting for free and uh, practicing and everything like that and getting a lot of XP because these things uh, do reward a lot of experience as far as uh, earning new cards and everything like that. And it's free after your first three for the week. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and uh, play our first. We're going to play this one here. So basically uh, the new week resets on Tuesdays. So Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays we're doing them because I want to earn the cards and see every every uh, draft you do, you get a champion at the end. Um, and so, you know, that's one last champion to use a wild cards on and stuff like that. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and see how we do. So after playing uh, Legends of Runeterra for a bit, is there anything you would change? Honestly, no. No, not yet. Not yet. No, like this is... I've been incredibly impressed by Riot's game here. Like this game is very good. And I think that this game is... Uh, just going to keep getting more and more popular and honestly i think this could be the the most popular card game in you know a couple of years uh you know it's, it takes a little bit of time to build up a a player base and everything but you know we've seen how good riot has done with league of legends and i expect them just to continue on with this um yeah, so you're concerned with the lack of best of three. But the thing is, is like there's not there's not a big advantage of being there's no like player draw or being a big advantage on the player draw. Um and that's what I found. And so it's not so it doesn't it makes it makes it that it's only best of one not feel bad that you just play one game. I've never thought I've never like you know, in, in, in a week here, you know, playing either draft you know, drafts or but you know, standard, even playing uh, or you know constructed i guess whatever they call it playing constructed in, in a in a week i've never felt like man i wish i was on the play and that that's not a, a thought that's ever occurred to me or or i wish i had a sideboard to deal with that deck that's never that uh never has has mattered um okay so yeah we got three really good champions actually um i actually like all all three of these champions so Teemo is just really fun to play. Teemo's can you can get a pretty busted Teemo deck, but Teemo's like if you get if you draft a Teemo deck, the games that you have Teemo on turn one are a lot better than games you don't have Teemo. Um, because basically it's a it's like a one one flyer. Whenever it hits the opponent, you put five poison puff caps in their deck, and those are just like um, it's like a little random thing that just goes on like some of their cards on their library. And if they draw a card with the puff cap, they take one damage. Um, so each time you hit him, you put five more. So obviously that can get a whole lot of them in their deck. And then it levels up. You get to hit them and double the poison puff caps. The mushroom cloud is not like this isn't really worth a card. Just one one card to put f five puff caps in their deck. Like, it's not really worth a card. So that, that's a really bad card. But peddler is awesome. Every spell you cast, you get three more. So that's that's pretty exciting there. I've had a lot of success with Noxus. I think Noxus is just strong and Darius is a, is a really great... Uh, champion six five overwhelm is trample uh, whenever they have 10 or less health it turns into a 10 five trample this card's just really strong intimidating roar it's pretty average they're on below average it's pretty below average it's not that that great for a five mana card and the hopeful is is just fine zed is awesome uh great you know just a really good attacking three drop Keeper of Masks is a good solid card, and Shadow Shifts, meh. It's pretty meh. So like each each uh, bucket here has a meh card. Um, with this being the first, you know, we get the two expeditions. Um, <laughs> yeah, I did. I did do Muffle. Yeah, um, I did start recording here. With this being the 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 first of the two expeditions and even if i don't do that well we still have a backup i'm gonna just try to just slam teemo because teemo is just fun to play um so yeah let's just let's just kind of go for it i play a lot of zed just in general like in in uh, constructed and everything and i've played a lot of darius but yeah let's let's just try to make a zed uh, teemo deck so we need to get all the puff cap stuff 
Optimo. All right, we get, we can. So what do we want to pair Timo with? Probably not. Probably not Brom. And Freljord. We could team it with Draven, and just a, basically aggressiveness. Like this, this is a very aggressive bucket here. Draven a three-two quick attack. You know, basically first strike. Um, a one mana three two that can't block a three mana five four that can't block. These are both like these are really good aggressive things. That that could be a good way to, to do it where you just try to get a lot of damage in with with this stuff and then have the puff caps finish them off. Or compare it with Fiora, a good challenger. Judgment is an amazing removal spell. Um, hey, toasted! Thank you so much. Really, you think you think Zed feels really weak? No, I, I I really like Zed. I I play a lot of Zed decks, honestly. That is that's a good call there. We could we could play for the late game with this pile and Braum Braum and like the this um uh, this is definitely like the defensive. So we could go like Teemo control and this is the defensive pile and just try to play a, a late game and then have the puff caps kill them like slowly. That's a good. That's a probably a pretty good plan. Um, Judgment's just an amazing uh, removal spell. It's basically one-sided Wrath of God. You know, all, basically you kill all of their, uh, you know, attacking or blocking things. And Fiora is a good removal spell, and then Blight Steel Protector works really well with Fiora. These are three pretty good buckets. Well, thank you. To yeah, thanks, Toasted. I appreciate that. Um, so that's pretty interesting. Looking at the votes, because, you know, y'all in, in Twitch chat can vote. Yeah, you can click the vote button. Right now we got, you know, just started. We got everybody has voted for Fiora. Download the game right now. Awesome, Alexis Bros. Yeah. Get it going and uh, start playing and let me know how it goes for you. Yeah, Fiora, Fiora is really difficult to play against without win con. But the thing is, is like, so if you if you want to build a Fiora deck and focus on Fiora killing four enemies, surviving to win the game, then you need to you know get a lot of cards to work with that. But if I want to build a Teemo deck and just try to have a whole lot of cards for Teemo, that doesn't work. However, I think because we have Judgment here, I'm gonna take this. I think we can still play a pretty defensive game with this one, with Fiora. So everybody vote for Fiora. We'll do it. Yeah, you like the Brahm, slow the game down, lots of puff caps. That does sound pretty fun. That sounds like a fun way to play. So maybe we should do that. Elixir of Iron protects Teemo also. That's a good protection spell for Teemo. All right, we'll do that. Let's play Teemo Control. Teemo Control. All right, Avalanche is just Pyroclasm. Um, that kills our Teemo, so that's not great. Stefan's good. Um, we can refill some spell mana, get this thing. So Allegiance, create a Sumpfork maps in hand. Grant and I ally elusive. Get excited and rummage. Uh, we're going to do, we're going to do this pile. Get excited's a good removal spell. Um, rummage is faithless looting. Draw, discard two, draw two. Um, so we can discard like mushroom clouds. Or just other spells. Yeah, judgment's just judgment is really strong. Um, Catalyst of Aeons is not very good. Pretty decent two drop. You know, whenever it dies, whenever it dies, you draw a card. We got Harsh Winds, which is pretty awesome. Um, if you're trying to do a whole lot more uh, attacking and blocking and stuff like that, Wild Claws are good top end threat. But we have Thermogenic Beam, which is also a great removal spell. And then Eager Apprentice. I'm, I'm going to take this last column, get this Thermogenic Beam. It's a good removal spell. Hmm. So Avalanche again. Unscarred Reaver. Whenever I survive damage, grant me plus three, plus zero. Maybe I need to do this and get the Avalanche to go with this Scarfane Stefan and Braum and Unscarred Reaver. 
May, that's may, that may not be bad because you know avalanche could be a huge blowout to other opponents too it does kill my teemo but we don't we won't always have teemo whenever you cast a spell grant a plus one plus one and a mushroom cloud or plaza guardian and unlicensed innovation i just don't like either of these other two buckets so i guess we're gonna go with this hey mtg no no Welcome. All right, so Elixir of Iron to help protect Teemo and an Entreat draw champion. So we can you know, draw either Teemo or Brawn. That's not bad. Scrap Dash Assembly. Two mana, summon two one ones. That's just not a very good card. Puffcat Peddler is awesome. Love Puffcat Peddler. This is one of the best cards that we can get. It's just, but then we have to take that other card. Um, this last one just doesn't, isn't really what we're about. So with these two columns, Puff Cat Peddler is the best card. Scrap Dash Assembly is the worst card. And these are two medium cards. I guess we're just going to take the, this because the assembly, I can discard it. You know, I can discard it to the get excited or discard it to the rummage. We can just discard it. So we'll take the peddler. All right, we got Kindly Tavern Keeper. Whenever you play it, you heal an ally three. That's interesting for this survive damage stuff. Okay. Thermogenic Beam, good removal. Chempunk Shredder. Whenever you play it, you do one to all enemy units. That's a good card, and that's a good removal spell. I like that bucket. Get Excited, also a good removal spell. Astute Academic. Whenever you draw a card, you get plus one, plus zero this round. Not a bad one drop. Not a bad one. Um, I'm going to take, I'm going to take this column. Chumpwump. Summon, create two mushroom clouds. So we want, Chumpwump is awesome. Basically it's, you know, it's four mana, four, four, which is a good body. Plus you draw two mushroom clouds. That card's awesome. Um, and then, and then good removal spell. So, uh, this is Entreat and Starlet's here, which isn't bad. And then, uh, Weirding Stones and Catalyst of Aeons. Now we'll just take the Chump Lump. When I'm discarded, summon me. Give an ally plus four, plus zero in quick attack. Okay. Golden Crush Bot, so just a three mana two five, so a good a good defender. Unlicensed innovation. So six mana summon a five five. So you so it's a it's just a six mana five five, which isn't great. But it is a spell, so it triggers like Puff Cat Peddlers. Or Scar Mother Verena. I don't think I've ever seen this card, honestly. Three eight with trample whenever I survive damage, grant me plus three plus zero. And of course, these grant me things are permanent. It's not like it doesn't say until end of turn or end of the round. So like it whenever it survives damage, it's a six eight, and then the next time it's a you know nine and so on. It's interesting. Unscarred Reaver, a zero an O three with survive damage, grant plus three plus zero. It's a pretty interesting column. Let's let's take this. Plus this card's epic. You know, like these are all commons and there's one epic. We should probably take the epic. Epic is basically like a rare in magic because on here there's common, rare, epic, and champion. So you can kind of think of that as like common, uncommon, rare, mythic. All right, take heart. Granted damage ally plus three, plus three. That could be nice if we're doing like self damage stuff. We got a mighty Poro. Tell tales if you have a Yeti. No. Catalyst of Aeons is just not that great of a card. It's a, you know, it's a ramp spell, basically. It's it's rampant growth, but it costs five mana and you gain three life. Golden Crush Bot and Unlicensed Innovation. Alright, so do we want just a generic two five and a six mana five five? Or a three mana three three? A 2-5 is probably better than a 3-3 three, three for us. And then... So yeah, we'll, we'll take this.
Okay. Good one drop and an elixir of iron. Good two drop and good three drop. Good three three mana removal and sump dredger to play me discard one. Ugh, I don't love that. Your expedition deck has a Senate and two Lucian. Oh man, yeah, that's great. Yeah, Lucian is so good. Um, what do I have for? So I have one Eager Apprentice right now, and the one Golden Crush Bot. I'm gonna take. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this first pile. I think the Elixir of Iron's a good trick, and we get a one drop. I'm gonna take that one. We haven't gotten very many, very much of the puff of the Teemo stuff, unfortunately. Take Heart and Stalking Wolf are both pretty good. Battle Fury just grants an ally plus eight plus four can be crazy, <laughs> giving Teemo plus eight plus four. That could be crazy. When I'm summoned, create an enraged yeti. Oh, uh, so basically, whenever you play this, then you get a one mana five five in the top three cards of your deck. Which isn't bad. And then rummage and rising spell force. I just don't really like the rummage. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take this first pile with the stalking wolf. The vote button covers some of the card text. Is I don't like I as I don't know any way to move the vote button. I don't know if y'all know if I can move the vote button. But yeah, everybody vote for this this one. All right, another elixir of iron, another wild claw, chump lump. Okay, I'm gonna play this chump lump. Progress day. Progress Day is really good, too, as far as an epic goes. Just draw three, and all three of those cards cost one less to play. But now I want to take the Jump Lump. Clump of Lumps. So it's a two-mana 2-2. Two, two. Draw one of those. Mushroom Clouds. This Battle Scars one is pretty good, though. This this 2-4 survive damage gets plus 3, plus 0, and then this to heal the ally 3. It's pretty good. And how this says heal an ally 3, that can be your Nexus. So that can be just your life total also. So it can, you can play as a gain 3 or basically give 3 toughness to something. But I'm going to grab the Clump of Wumps. All right, so we can trade the Scrap Dash Assembly. Yes, please. Oh, I love just trading that for anything useful. Let's see, we could trade the one drop or, oh no, that's a great trade too. Oh gosh, I guess we have to do the last trade because Mushroom Cloud isn't really that useful either. Both These are the like the two worst cards in our deck and Mystic Shot is awesome. Just a good removal spell. So I would rather get rid of the Scrap Dash Assembly, but we just need to take Mystic Shot. All right, let's see how many wins we get. If we win the first one, we get another champion, and there's they usually give you like the champions you already have, so we, we probably can get an, a second Teemo if we win this first game, which is important. Um, I guess we get rid of the six drop to start with. Oh yeah, you were thinking. For YouTube, yeah, the the vote, yeah, the vote buttons don't be on YouTube. No, the worst card in my deck. Just two mana, you get two one ones. I mean, two one ones can jump block, I guess.
Well, if they got a two mana three one, I guess playing this thing that gets us the two one ones is really good against a two mana three one. They're probably going to go straight to attacks, but maybe they play something first and then I get to play the assembly. Yeah, so they went straight to attacks. Um, I would say... Yeah, skip the block. J Jack, I think you just want four Meyer Triton in that deck. Let's play Braum, actually. How can Braum help? I think Meyer Triton's better than Gorging Vulture. They just passed the turn. And I think Drown Secrets is also better than Gorging Vulture. I would take out the Gorging Vultures. And I'd play an extra Meyer Triton and some more Drown Secrets. Hey, Kitty Dexterity. We march as one, an unstoppable force. Eh, force seems pretty stoppable to me. There was a little fella asking for me. In the War Mother's name. It is easy, see? All right, so we'll get the peddler in play first. So every spell that we played, we'll give them three puff caps. We are forged in Six war. five fearsome. That's kind of scary. That's pretty scary. I'm just going to try to bolt that thing with six damage. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to block here and block here. Alright, so Braum dies. Didn't protect Braum with my elixir. I still feel pretty good about where we are. Ugh. Oh wait, no. Wrong card. I didn't. I didn't have the mana for iron, elixir of iron because I used because I played the removal spell that used all my mana earlier, on that six five. So now I'm gonna bank the one mana to be able to play it. But yeah, I, I just didn't have the mana for it. Hey Storm, good evening. How's life, Storm? Vanguard. Their deck's so fearsome. Alright, so I'm going to block here and Because I wish I could chump block with the 1-1, one, one, but I can't. Like, that's not... That's not something I can do. against that fearsome card. Just gonna give him a bunch of puff caps. Alright, 
points. They drew one puff cap. They're up. To, they're down to sixteen. Hmm. I <laughs> just came back from a barbecue dinner, need to get, recover. Ugh, that thing's scary too. I have so many things that are scary. Why is the deck so scary? I'm yeah, I've... Alright, so we dealt two damage to him. I think Noxus... Noxus is a good... good. Uh, I think it's a really good place to be in uh, in these expeditions. And Demacia is a good one, too. Like Those are two of the best. We are forged in war! Stop already. Well, we've gotten them 40 puff caps. From playing spells. So that's pretty good. I keep step with the heartbeat of Dang. T two other three twos? Why couldn't I pyroclasm away the three twos also? Guess I should have let them go to combat first. Negotiations are over. The craven will fall. I mean I I can't profitably block either of those things. Uh... I think I may just take 12 here, honestly. Uh, well, they got me. Things were too big, too scary. All right, well, we can swap out a card. We don't get a new thing. Okay, good. We can get rid of that thing and get a static shock. All right, that's a good card. Um, get rid of rummage for a removal spell. I do like that also. Now, or, well, I guess that that middle one does give him plus zero, plus three for good. So that's actually not bad either. I think all all three of these trades. Um, all three of these trades are good. Yeah, like they're all good trades. So this is two one ones for two. Maybe that's not as bad as I'm saying it is, because you get to chump block a couple of times. It's not as bad as I say it is. Maybe you want to do this one and get another removal spell. Because I don't really have, especially with how we got rid of that other thing, I don't really have things I'd necessarily want to discard a whole lot. This is card disadvantage because you have to play this one card and then also discard two more. So you'd get rid of three cards in your hand and you just draw and you draw two more. So like it's it is card disadvantage. So let's get let's get rid of that and get removal instead. So we can kill big minotaurs. Oh no! Noxus and Dem Demacia again. Come on, Teemo! Alright, I'm gonna get rid of all these because none of them are Teemo. Teemo, Teemo. Darn. 
No Timos. It's probably not surprising that the Timo deck is better when you have Timo in it. All right, well, this thing is crazy. Every every elite they cast, it gets plus one, plus one, like for good. We're going to be killing that thing. Let's use the thermogenic beam. That would have been a good card last game. Ready for deployment. Oh, I should I should probably just cast the mushroom cloud and just get that in their deck. Or well I can I can discard that for the get excited. Which I'm going to do right now. This thing is a 2-2. Two, two, it, it, it's going to attack. It's going to be a 4-4. Four, four. So basically, I just use that thing to kill a 4-4. Four, four. So that's not not a bad trade. I'll turn the tide. Ow. I go away. Jump on. We fight for those who cannot. Mm. So I can use Thermogenic Beam to kill that, but we have to have at least five mana. So 3-8 survives damage. Haha, they just pass. They do not want to attack into it. Um gives them puff caps. There we go, one damage. The strong pay. Our puff cap control. Hold fast. So we get to play this six drop. We still have two mana left. And so two mana, I can play this to do two damage. And so I can hopefully kill Garen. They're still keeping a lot of mana available. They still have a ton of mana available, even though they just played two creatures. I guess this thing was free. Yay, Garen's gone. Good. You want to make a Lucian Callista deck based around reviving Lucian Senna over and over. That's yeah, that's not bad. That was like the the draft deck we did yesterday. I I had yeah Lucian Callista. Um, I didn't get Senna until like the very end, but I really liked that deck. It was awesome. Oh, if mushrooms could talk. Oh, whoops, am I right? Side by side, into battle. <laughs> so it's kind of better to play Golden Crush Bot. Um, but I wanted to keep this mana up.
Well, both of our... Both of our spots for creatures are fill, are filled. So I could just not play creatures, and then they don't get to play creatures, but they have this four Demacia. They're going to play that. Hey, Blade. How's dinner? I went grocery shopping today. First time back here. Um, spent like an hour and a half you know, going through the whole grocery store and picking out everything. So then today I had a, for afterwards when I got home for lunch, then I had chicken salad, sandwich, pickles. So I killed a Minotaur, and I guess they just had another Minotaur in hand, so it just allowed them to play another Minotaur, so I basically wasted my spell. But I did give them three puff caps. There's the four Demacia. Courage, soldier. It's gonna make my blocks pretty tough. So I'm gonna be able to block with this. So I want to kill that other thing. All right. So this is gonna be. A 9-6. So I'm going to kill this thing with toughness. I guess this thing, whenever it attacks, it does one damage. Yeah, so I'll kill that thing. And then we'll do a chump. We'll do a kind of trade. Excuse you. Trade. So I want to chump with the peddler also. Probably have to. So I don't just die to another plus three plus zero spell. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Rather Reptile. Stars at night, a big and bright. Even the heart Oh, I guess so. Do they have? I guess they had a trick. Oh, detain. Okay, so this is detained. No, over here, detained. You should stay back, cowards. Hmm. Well, this looks like this was our worst draft deck ever. I've never... I'm, this is going to be the first time we got a zero-win draft deck. Yeah, looking like we got a zero-winner. Just big, good, you know, good, solid creatures there with Demacia and Noxus together. Both, both losses to Minotaur Reckoner being a big problem. I saw Another for Demacia? Oh, right, because they, they played another one of those things. Whatever. Well, we lost both of them. You know, we, we tried the Teemo deck. We didn't, get, we didn't get a whole lot of support for Teemo, but the thing about the Teemo deck is... As, as I talked about whenever we we uh, drafted at first, when you play a Teemo deck, you really, really want Teemo on turn one. Both of those games, I never had Teemo. Both games, my opponent just played creatures on the ground and killed me. If we would have just had Teemo game one, on turn one on either of those games, honestly, I think that would have made a huge difference. 
because um, you know we played late into the games if we had a team right away that was just hitting them in the air my opponents didn't really play any removal they just played big creatures um <clears throat> so uh you know live you live you live by the teemo you die by the teemo um but we had a second trial right so uh you know like it's all uh it's all good we got that zero zero win but we got a second trial so we'll have to uh strap up the bootstraps and um you know get the uh get that seven wins with our second trial all right, but there we go. There's, uh, you know, Timo Control didn't, uh, we didn't do a good enough job at controlling or getting attacks in with Timo, uh, but we'll try trial number two. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, um, still hope you learned learned some some stuff here with the video and had a good time watching it. Uh, but click on over to trial number two to try that. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.